Hey guys, this is Martin from the Tour de Plants. Today I'm doing carbon fiber repair on a carbon bicycle frame. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about this uh, based on the previous carbon repair I did. Um, so thanks for your support on that one. This one is going to be step by step every single thing it takes to uh, repair this frame, all of the materials used, and primarily using uh, tools and supplies that are from the household in addition to a carbon re repair kit that I bought on eBay for 30 bucks. So other than that, it's just household stuff that I've got. Um, so I'll show you step by step, uh, watch the whole thing, and then toward the end of the video, I'll wrap it up showing you the specific tools and supplies and where you can go to get a carbon repair kit like that. So thanks for watching. Here comes the details. This is the down tube of the bicycle. I've got it in a work stand being held horizontal, so this work surface is horizontal and level. And what happened is that over time, the water bottle cage popped off and you can see the rivet and everything pulled out of the carbon. So it's, there's not major damage in this area, but in order to put a new rivet in there, I'm gonna add some, I'll sand this down, add carbon and basically put a new riv nut uh, back in the spot. So this this repair video will actually be in two different parts. The first part is going to be showing the carbon layup, how to repair a, this carbon area. The second part will be how to install a rib nut in the new carbon area. The bike was like this when I bought it. I bought it second hand. Um, I knew that this was messed up and I knew that the bike was cracked on the top tube and I got a good price on the frame. Um, so there was no warranty, um, so there's no issue about voiding a warranty because I didn't have a warranty to begin with. So I've got the area sanded well enough for my liking. And I got a paper towel here with a little bit of paint thinner um, just to kind of clean it up. If you don't have paint thinner, you could, you know, just kind of wipe it off with water and let it dry. Um, so just to try and get the grease off so that it's a dry, tacky surface to accept the epoxy. Right, here's a piece of the fiber. I'm just using regular household scissors to cut this stuff. All right, so I've got the fiber cut. So it's gonna lay in there pretty much like that. All right, so I'll put one layer and then I'll put another one and I'll stack three of them on top of one another. All right, it's time to mix up the epoxy. So I've got, it's two parts resin and one part epoxy. I've, I've measured them on the digital scale so that it should be pretty accurate. And I'm using uh, just a, a scrap from the garage to stir it up. All right, it's been about two minutes. We are ready to start the application. Um, and here is the epoxy check it out. I've got the jar right in the other water bottle holder so that works out okay. So we're just gonna take that brush and this stuff is pretty sticky. If you've ever worked with fiberglass um, it's pretty much just like working with you know that kind of resin. So it, it's not that big a deal you know we're not doing brain surgery here. This is just epoxy that holds fibers together and it happens to be very strong epoxy. Just enough so that it will be sticky and it will hold this fiber in place. Okay. Layer number two, 
just doing the same thing basically adding some epoxy resin on top getting them sticky and this fiber is not uh, curving very nicely since I cut it so narrowly but that's okay I'm just gonna wrap it up So I've been working with this for maybe 10 minutes and it does eventually get a little uh, more pliable but it still has a lot of lumps and bumps in it. I tried to move the camera down so you guys can see uh, kind of a better angle or a, an, an additional angle here. So I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Right now, I want to look at the other side real quick. Wipe up a couple of drips here. Now, let's wrap it up. Some of you guys are really going to like this. This is parchment paper from the kitchen. I didn't have any wax paper. So I'm hoping this will work okay. Even if it sticks to the epoxy, at least it's uh, pretty much non-toxic so that I'll sand it all off. So there's the wrap. And we're just going to hold that in place with a lot of masking tape. Okay, we've got the frame all wrapped up. So you can see what it's like underneath here. Uh, it's wrapped up fairly tight. It was as tight as I could get it. So that will certainly help hold the carbon in place. It's not perfect. You know, the pros have their own tools. But uh, using materials that most people have got... Um, trying to show you, hey, if I can do this, you guys can do it too. Uh, now this stuff needs to cure for a few days. So this is all we're doing today. We'll come back after a while when it's dried and start sanding it down. Let's see how this uh, parchment paper did. Looks like it actually didn't stick to the epoxy, so that's cool. Alright, Sandy's all done. I've got a uh, paper towel with a little tiny bit of paint thinner on it. Just to... Um, get all that kind of all the grit off it's definitely not a perfect job but you know what it's good enough so let me show you the materials that I'm gonna need um, this is a kit for carbon fiber repair I bought on eBay it was 30 bucks and it comes with this long roll of uh, fiber which I've used some on a previous repair in another video. Uh, it comes with the epoxy needed and instructions. Um, let me zoom in on these. Okay. You can pause the video and read the instructions there. Um, the th other things you're going to need uh, that, that I'm using 
I'm using a jar to mix up the epoxy because this stuff gets hot. Um, chemically, it will get hot and it could melt something. So rather than mess with uh, something melting, I'm using a jar. Uh, and a throwaway paintbrush, which I'll be applying the epoxy with. Um, and I'll, I'll weigh all that stuff on the scale to make sure it's the right proportions. Uh, also going to need scissors for the fiber, power sander, and different uh, grits uh, sandpaper.